church um, challenged everyone to do a fast and prayer. Um, and me and my wife decided to do individual ones. Um, some people fast from food um, for things, and I decided to try and fast from something to, um, you know, better my life. Um, um, I decided to take a break or fast from music, uh, specifically secular music. Um, listening to a lot of rap, um, coming from my high school days, and as a kid, I like beats. Um, I like the verses, I like all that stuff, but um, obviously being a full-grown adult now with kids, I know that the messages are not always the best. So decided to just switch it off, cut cold turkey. Um, every day we'd pray for strength to keep going. Um, we would go into the vehicle and I just wouldn't check my phone. Turn on the church radio station and um, anytime I needed that beat, uh, there's lots of Christian rap. There's tons of it out there, tons of good stuff. So for 26 days, I think is how we did it. Um, I just listened to, to church music and after a while it turned into just worship music and I could notice a life, uh, in my life was that there was a change, an actual change that I could notice and it wasn't, it wasn't all of a sudden, it just happened gradually and, and towards the end of you know, me cutting that music out of my life, I actually find that I don't, I don't want it back. Um, I like this change. That's my story. Hello, my name is Levi, um, and last month I took part in Set Free. Um, I was actually supposed to be helping out, and I ended up participating in quite a bit of it. And uh, there was one part where we were asked to uh, go to the cross and leave a sin there, or at least that's the way I remember it. And so what I asked God is, what do you want me to leave? And what I ended up leaving was um, some a card game and uh, comic books there, which is majority of my earthly possessions. Um, and so later I got rid of all of my magic cards um, and I, um, I got rid of my comic books by burning them all. Um, for me, ever since then, I haven't kind of looked back. Yeah, that's my God story. Um, I have a little thing that I like to do on Thursdays, spend some extra time in prayer. And this last Thursday, a couple came to my mind that I hadn't talked to for a year or maybe two. And they are going through an awful lot of uh, deep water and just a lot of tension and pressure. And they have the habit of praying every morning and asking God to help them. But I didn't know that. And that particular day, um, I wanted to phone them and tell them about chocolate because if you eat 70% or more dark chocolate uh, it will help cut your pain and this couple both have one has MS and one has lupus so I thought I need to phone them and tell them about the dark chocolate but I thought nope I better pray first so I sat down to pray and the Lord said phone now I said really I get to call them now he said yeah so I got up to phone about the dark chocolate and called them and here they had prayed that morning that God would help them. And then they got news that was one more heavy load on their already uh, top. It was the straw, as you would say, the straw that was going to break the camel's back. And they were feeling desperate. And they let me know later that that phone call had been kind of their savior that day that really encouraged them and enabled them, okay, God is hearing us. God is going to help us. And wow, that sure encouraged me that God would tell me when I got to phone them and be a blessing to them. So God encourages on both sides of the fence.